Coming up on First at Four, water is flowing back to the homes of folks in Fleming Neon. We'll talk to crews about how they were able to get the service restored in the nick of time. And a spending bill to keep the federal government running is now on the move. The Senate has approved it, but now it's up to the House to decide if it will see the president's desk. Plus, we are tracking our next snow chance by this evening. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts right now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, a winter storm warning or winter weather advisory goes into effect this evening for the entire region as another round of snow and maybe some ice moves in. For more on the timing on this first alert weather day, let's check in with meteorologist Cameron Aaron. Cameron. Yes, Steve, we are tracking moisture to increase as we speak, especially in the Cumberland Valley. Let's take a live look from downtown Somerset over in Pulaski County. Now some good news. Those temperatures are finally above freezing this afternoon up to 37 degrees over in Somerset. We are dry at this location, but according to the radar, that moisture is not too far away. As you can see on first alert pinpoint Doppler, we are tracking some spotty snow flurries or snow showers zooming into the Cumberland Valley from Pulaski County into McCreary, also Whitley County into Knox and Bell County as well. Not sure how much of this is actually reaching the ground right now. Some of this actually evaporating for now, but we do see some more widespread snow showers later on this evening and a few more flurries in Bell County over into Harlan, also Letcher and into Wise and Dickinson and Buchanan County over in Virginia at this hour and close to I-64. Same story, a few snow flurries right now as well. And those temperatures are above freezing 38 for Manchester, 36 in London, also Jackson and 37 over in Pikeville, but that is short lived as some more very cold air is on the way. We do have a winter weather advisory in place for all the areas in purple for Harlan, Letcher, Pike, Mingo, Logan, Buchanan counties. That's a winter storm warning and that will last through early Saturday morning. Also watching out for that winter weather advisory to last through 7 p.m. for Campbell and Claiborne County. For the rest of us, that will last through early on Saturday. More details on those snow chances plus some very cold weather by this weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. Crews with Fleming Neon Utilities have been able to get water flowing back into the homes of customers. WYMT's Chandler Wilcox is in Letcher County with how they found success at a critical time. Crews were acting with a sense of urgency to get water back into the homes of their customers before the winter storm. Despite frozen streams, officials say customers have water again. Nathaniel Wilder with Neon Utilities says other sources played a major role. With the help of Jenkins and the county, we was able to feed other parts of our system to let the well and the, the other main part kind of recover. Um, and then we had rural water come in and help. Wilder says they are not necessarily concerned with the current weather conditions, but rather later on down the road after the storm when it starts getting warmer. I'll have more on that at 6. In Letcher County, Chandler Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Wilder also says probably 80% of customers are receiving water from just neon utilities now. He says they are slowly getting everyone back on their water system. A new Kentucky law is making it safer for those who have a communication barrier to communicate with police. A new designation for a person who is deaf, hard of hearing, or unable to speak will allow folks to communicate their disability to an officer without using words. The new designation allows folks to put on their DMV record that they have communication limitations. We want to have uh, a better way to communicate with them um, and us knowing that up front gives us the advantage of knowing what we're dealing with to make their uh, situation better. This is something that is kept really on the back end. There's no special update to like someone's driver's license or anything of that nature. So this is something that's going to be seen internally by people who have access to the database. The law mandating the program went into effect on January 1st, and while having the designation is voluntary, both Huber and Wilkerson say it will protect both the officers and the public. A bill to keep the federal government up and running is now headed to the House. The Senate approved what's known as a CR, or continuing resolution, this afternoon, and the hope is to get it to the president's desk before the day's end and the snow comes back to Washington tomorrow. CBS's Natalie Brand has the latest from D.C.
act. The bill is passed. The Senate approved a short-term funding bill that prevents a government shutdown. The measure now moves to the House. Avoiding a shutdown is very good news for every American, especially for our veterans, our parents, our children, our farmers, our small businesses, and so many others who would have felt the sting of a government shutdown. But some hardline conservatives in the House oppose any stopgap spending bills that don't include deep spending cuts and address other issues. Will you support the CR? Uh, no. no. Please do. Secure the border, we can discuss funding. Even if common ground is found on the short-term continuing resolution, lawmakers still face a standoff over a national security package that includes funding for Ukraine, Israel, and the southern border. Lawmakers are considering a more than $100 billion White House proposal that includes more than $60 billion for Ukraine. But Speaker Mike Johnson insists House Republicans would block it unless the administration agrees to toughen immigration policies on the southern border. We understand that all these things are important, but we must insist, we must insist that the border be the top priority. After a meeting with the president and congressional leaders Wednesday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer appeared more optimistic. There was a large amount of agreement around the table that we must do Ukraine and we must do border. There was tremendous focus on Ukraine. With aid to Ukraine all but dried up, there's concern delay in reaching a deal could give Russia a chance to make gains on the battlefield. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. The deadline to pass the CR is Friday at midnight. Coming up on First at Four, ahead of New Hampshire's primary, the GOP candidates are making campaign stops. On the Democratic side, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris are also taking to the trail to share their platform. Plus, the forecast remains wintry through Friday. Those details coming up after this break.